Hey everyone, this is Becca. Welcome back to my channel, House of Lenormand. Today is uh, the 13th, August 13th. Let me see, is it Monday or Tuesday? I don't know. I don't even know what day it is, you guys. Um, let me see, Tuesday, August 13th. Um, I wanted to do a quick reading to see what happened in Jeffrey Epstein's cell. Uh, the night that um, he passed away. Uh, my sister and I had done a few readings. Um, we kept seeing two people, that two people, two people were there, or there were two people involved, but there two people kept showing up. Um, and then in the box spread, we found out that uh, William Barr had visited him. I believe it was shortly after the the first attack where he said somebody had attacked him. Um, while he was there. So I kind of wanted to, to get a reading on what happened in his cell. And then um, I think I'm going to throw in some thoughts on how this all fits in together. So um, I did a double line of five here and then I, those three wanted to come out. So I just let them out. Um, what this is saying here is that uh, on the first row we have the clouds, the fox, the whip, the coffin, and the ship. On the second row here we have the ring, the rider, the dog, the anchor, and the um, bouquet. So on this very first row we have negative, 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 and then a neutral card talking about someone leaving or something foreign. Um, there's some serious uncertainty and manipulation regarding some sort of um, uh, manipulative abuse. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, and uh, the end of the abuse and then someone going away. Here we're seeing that there's a contract to have a visitor come over. Um, there's been some, I'm not seeing any money cards here. All I'm seeing is a contract for a gift. But there's been some sort of very suspicious uh, contract that has been formed to, to get a visitor from a friend that's going to bring him some sort of a gift, uh, some sort of uh, stable happiness here. Okay, this is a person that visited him and this is someone that visited him. Okay, um, this person that visited is... This, as a person, could be uh, someone that's devious, cunning, manipulative, sly. Um, it's your opponent. It's also a person that's undercover. Um, it could be, as uh, as another descriptor, this could be another person that works within um, criminal law enforcement. Uh, they work around crime. Um, this could be a private detective, a spy, an investigator, or this could just be talking about an employee. Um, and it's also the type of job that you would, sorry about that, that you would have to report to someone else. This is not someone in a position of authority. And this card is quite independent. This person here, I'm not seeing the tower. So I can't tell you if this is his lawyer. I'm not seeing the tower, so I can't tell you if that's law enforcement. Um, because the fox, the tower and the fox would be more like your FBI agents. Um, Someone that works for an institution that has to do with criminality, but they're more undercover. Whereas this and the tower could be a lawyer and it could also be your regular uh, police officer. Okay, so what I find interesting here is that there was a contract for this. Okay, so, um, and there's two people. There's uh, somebody snuck in here and this person beat him uh the whip is anything that is some sort of a punishment this could be a belt this could be um a whip this a uh, 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 a workout band um anything that has that type of it where it's that type of an instrument that you can use it to exercise or to punish people so this person snuck in or this person, since there's two people here, this could be saying that um, if this is someone that is uh, undercover and works with crime, this could be 
um, one of the correctional officers there that was in there and also let somebody in that that performed this and they were aware of it. Perhaps both of them took part in um, beating him. Um, there is a foreign agreement here. Um, and this is the sex ring here. This night's here and here. This is a sex ring, okay? Um, this is very clouded and confused and covered over, and it's going to be buried here. Um, and these people, I'm not seeing any money cards here, so I can't tell you if they were paid. Um, all I can say is that there was an agreement to give him a gift, and there was a very um, suspicious agreement, a troublesome agreement, and he also got visited by a lifelong friend here. Um, so I'm wondering, even though his lawyer, and I'm not seeing the tower, if this is presenting as his lawyer, I'm wondering if this is saying that his lawyer was in on this. And what I also find interesting, um, yesterday I was watching the Rachel Maddow show, Epstein's two lawyers just got criminal defense lawyers as well. So there's some shady business going on here. And this is sh this is a shady agreement, a shady relationship. This is a, a shady relationship here, a manipulative arrangement, a cunning relationship, a, a, an agreement or in a relationship that is not what it appears to be. So there's a lot of trouble going on here, a lot of confusion and big trouble surrounding this agreement for somebody to come in to visit him. Um, and this person has been a lifelong friend. So this could be saying that maybe I, I, that the lawyer um, was in on this hit, but here's the sex ring here. And whoever came in, it may have been someone that was in law enforcement that came in and they brought somebody else. This could also be an inmate that was in the prison system. So he, it may have been um, uh, the one, one of the correctional officers here bringing an inmate and they both beat him. Um, and that's what was the cause of death. But he didn't do this alone. And I can't, And on all of my previous readings, I kept seeing two. There's two. Um, one of them looks like it's a permanent employee. Um, and the other person here is permanent as well. Um, this could quite literally be talking about his cell, a dark box where he was. Uh, when someone came to visit him, this is a visitor or, or news or a delivery. Um, this person was delivering a contract to him um, for um, for some sort of a gift. So, but the terms of that is unclear here and here. Um, there's a friend that is foreign, perhaps a foreign advisor. And there is a visitor that delivered death here. News of his death, someone that delivered a death from a contract. Um, these three wanted to pop out, so I just kind of let him let them. And what we have here is the cross, the storks, and the key. So what that's talking about is a, a difficult transfer. Um, but the transfer was going to be the answer. So, based on all of the previous readings that I have done, the ones that my sister and I did, the one that I did yesterday, and the news as it keeps coming out, um, I'm starting to wonder if um, when William Barr visited, if he was trying to get some sort of an agreement to transfer him out of there, um, to a smaller facility. Uh, the reports that have come out on the New York Post and a couple of other sources have been saying that there is um, a former mob informant that was the one that found out because he had heard word on the street that uh, William Barr had come to visit him. So with all of that taken into consideration, 
you have an inmate in a correctional facility that's, from what I've seen on the news, is, is one of the worst. Um, and you have a very high profile, very, very, very wealthy individual that is being detained there. Um, that person has been able to outrun the law for a very long time um, because he has the means and the funds to do so. And you're in a prison system with a bunch of other very bad people who don't exactly have those means. So you're a high profile person with a lot of money that's been able to buy your way out of everything. And then on top of that, you're a pedophile. And then on top of that, you have the attorney general coming to visit you. I am fairly certain, unless I'm completely nuts, that pissed off inmates. You know what I mean? Like, you know, these people are facing charges and they're in there for a long time. And then you have this one guy that's looking to buy his way out of it. You know, and, and on top of that, you have the attorney general coming over to visit. You know, so what I'm thinking that happened here is that there was a contract that was brought in to off this guy. Um, his lawyers were trying to get him out of there. They were trying to get him another deal that would make him happy through a transfer up there. They were trying to make him happy and transfer him somewhere else. Make him go away, leave. That pissed off people. And here you have the visitors that came in and did this. Um, with the cross up there, even though this is a totally different reading and is not related to this. Since the whip is a card of punishment and as a, um, as a descriptor, this could be anything from a whip to a belt to a broom to a workout band to a rubber band to a leather strap to a rod, um, a ruler, a stick. Um, if this is a correctional officer because this is somebody that's undercover, an agent, an FBI agent, and, and this could also be an inmate. I'm thinking these two people went in there and beat his ass, like beat him dead. Um, there may be marks on him, bruising, because of these two, like I said, this one, this line of three has nothing to do with this, but, you know, I'm just going to go there. I could be completely wrong. Um, because if this is an instrument that was used, like a belt, a whip, a leather strap, uh, a, a rod, something that law, uh, a correctional officer used, there may be marks on him. And I'm also seeing like there was some sort of a contract or an agreement uh, for somebody to come and visit him right here. Um, so this could be saying two things. It could be saying um, that the correctional officers and the other inmates were in on this deal to off him there. And it could also be saying that, but I'm not seeing any money cards here again, you guys. Um, or this could also be saying that the lawyer was in on this and it could also be saying, I'm not seeing, um, the garden. So I can't say if this is from the outside, but there's a foreign contract here with these corners and the sex ring. And you have people coming into his cell to beat his ass. Um, that's what caused this, but it wasn't one person. It was two. This could be the two people, like that could be uh, a correctional officer and an inmate. And this was set up by maybe a lawyer. Um, maybe this was some sort of an advisor to people that were involved in this foreign sex ring here with the whip knighting the ring and the ring cornering over there to the ship. Um, because this person... <clears throat> <clears throat> was delivering some sort of an offer to him, a contract, an offer. But this is someone um, with this right here, someone that a, a friend that's um, or an advisor that that's happy to help you. But then there's all this shady stuff going on here. So I'm thinking 
and I could be totally wrong, I'd have to do more ratings, but I'm thinking two people involved, something to do with a foreign contract, to, uh, and then to get people in there to beat him to death. Um, and that's why they're saying they found him suspended. The Storks is leaving and returning, and it's also something high up. So they went in there and, and, and killed him, and then... Um, saying that he hung himself, he was high up, suspended, but there's going to be marks on him. Um, they delivered the death here, and there's this could be an employee that's been there a long time, <clears throat> so like a correctional officer, and this could be an inmate, and this was all set up by, perhaps by one of his attorneys. I'm not seeing the snake, so I can't say that they betrayed him, and there's a foreign contract here. So it's looking like, you know, somebody put a hit on him. I mean, for certain. Um, I'm going to close this out here. And I'm going to ask a yes or no to see if somebody did put a hit on him. And I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. Welcome back. Um, this was, I did two double lines. Or, or I'm sorry, I did. This is one yes or no. This is one yes or no. I asked if William Barr had made arrangements um, so that there would be an opportunity for Epstein to no longer be with us. And I have the mountain, the anchor, and the book. This is a negative card. That's a neutral card. This is a positive card. Um, there was something that was done in secret. Uh, it's a permanent secret, and this is something permanent, uh, a permanent obstacle. We know nobody wanted um, Epstein to speak, so there's that. I asked it again, did William Barr make arrangements so that there would be an opportunity for Epstein to no longer be with us. We have the whip, the ring, the fox. This is a negative card. This is a negative and neutral card of it's talking about your employment. This is a positive card. Again, we're seeing the same thing repeat itself again. Um, this could be talking about the sex ring that's being investigated. But right in the center, there is a an agreement um, perhaps for a sneaky abuse here for somebody to sneak in and, and do this to him. Um, but we're seeing the same thing happen twice where it, it's like it's being, it's like it's being covered up. Um, I had, well, I don't even know if I want to say that. Um, I have a theory. Let me see if it's correct. I'll be back. All right, everyone. I think I'm going to cut that off here. Um, this is a totally different reading that I'm going to go ahead and do on my next video. Um, I'm not going to post the two other questions or the other question that I was going to ask because I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, and the answer brought me back to the grand tableau that we had done for Donald Trump Jr. last month towards the end of the month. So I'm going to cut that off here and I'm going to put this one on the next one. Okay. Thank you so much for being with me here today and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.